that. Boom! There we go! Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back in BMG Drive, and today we are back with the B-25, and we're also on a new airport map. So, yeah, so uh, basically we're just gonna go ahead and do some emergency scenarios, maybe some crash landings and some stuff like that. So yeah, guys, let's get into the video. All right, so first things first, we have an object on the runway here, and it is a solid brick wall, or solid for now. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fly straight into it, and boom, there we go. The aircraft is already disabled. The front of the nose is all kind of messed up there, and it looks like when we actually hit the brick wall, it exploded, essentially, and it shot into both the propellers and obviously disabled the aircraft. So, as you can see, uh, let's just take a look at the extent of the damage here. So, of course, the nose is completely shattered, completely destroyed, and it looks like, obviously, the propellers are pretty messed up. This one is still somewhat intact. There's a brick that still survived here. And this propeller is completely gone, so it's right here. But we're going to go ahead and go all the way over to where the impact occurred, which is somewhere, yeah, just about over here. Yeah, right here. You can see where the bottom of the brick is, and you can see where the uh, front wheel just went right through here. So, yeah, it pretty much annihilated that brick wall. But there's two types of brick walls in b Drive, so we're going to try out the second one. Here is the second type of brick wall. These bricks are huge, and they barely move when you pull them at 30% strength. So, yeah, this is probably going to absolutely destroy the aircraft. I wouldn't be surprised if our wings fall off from this. So, we're going to go ahead, and we are just going to go full speed right into the brick wall. Here we go. And boom, there we go. And as I expected, the wings just rip off the front of the aircraft there. Look at that. Wow. So as you can see, this is where the brick wall was. And you can see that there are still some chunks there that held up after the impact. Um, let's take a look. So it looks like the cockpit has separated from the main body. You can see it's all types of messed up now there. And, um... This seems to be, is this the nose coming? Yeah, this is where the nose was. And here is the cockpit. It is somewhat intact. And uh, the whole thing's on fire. Let's get rid of that fire real quick. Alright, so, looking in the cockpit here, you can see all of the front panels are just completely destroyed. And the, the actual yokes are messed up too. But, if you were a pilot and you were impervious to G-forces, you probably survived that. I mean, the cockpit really did hold up to that, um, but yeah. So looking at the wings, you can see that they're completely bent in over here from the main impact, uh, but the outside of the wings are pretty fine. The engines are just done for. Those are pretty much destroyed, and yeah. Looking at this in slow motion, you can really see the destruction unfolding. The immediate compression of the airframe and the fuselage the destruction of the engines and how the wings want to continue moving forward but the fuselage is slowing down so it's causing uh, fractures and cracks to build up on the supporting parts but it looks like the wings might not separate from this impact but we will see um, as you can see the engines are ripping off the landing gear stands no chance here as it just rips off and yeah the wings are sticking up on this one so Inside the fuselage, the cockpit is destroyed. The aircraft is beginning to kind of flip up at the back because of all of the continued momentum. And there we go. So as you can see, the wings survived that one, but the entire front portion is just flattened here. All right, now I'm thinking something a little less dramatic and something that we can actually survive, at least for a takeoff. So, I'm trying to get this landing gear to break off here, so let's kind of take off. Oh god, that's a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. Um, surprisingly, we're actually surviving this. Uh-oh. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, yeah, no, they're dead. And, yeah, we're double dead. There goes the fire. So, we want to line up that landing gear with the barrier, and just before we hit it, we just want to pull up. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh oh, not good, not good, not good. Oh my gosh. 
Wow. Um, yeah, let's just skip the concrete barrier for now. Alright, so let's try something a little less destructive, like this little car here. So, we just want to line up our right landing gear with the car and try to knock that landing gear off. I know that there's easier ways to do it, but that's not me. I want to go ahead and try to do it the difficult way. So, here we go. Pull up. Oh, boy, we did not do that right. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we just destroyed the entire car because a door just went flying up about 100 feet there. I think we might have hit it with our propeller. Um, so we're flying by the tower here. Let's get our landing gear up and let's try to land the plane normally. Let's actually do it on that same runway so we have like an object that we need to avoid. That sounds cool. Alright, so it's a little hard to see but the runway is literally right in front of us. There it is. We are all lined up. And let's bring our throttle down 30%. We're coming in pretty fast here. So let's bring it down. Oh, yeah, that's really hard. Here we go. A nice bounce there. Oh, shoot. The car is right in front of us. Let's see if we can float it down. Oh, no. No, no. That's not good. Bring it to a stop. Bring it to a stop. Braking. There we go. On the taxiway. Perfect. And we'll shut down the engines there. As you can see, the car is pretty mangled now. Uh, we did strike it, um, however, and you can see our tire is flat now. But uh, here's the door, or is that the hood? Nope, that is the door. No, that is the hood. Never mind, sorry about that. There should be a door around here that went flying up past us. Nope, that's a panel. That's the rear panel. There's a lot of panels everywhere. Is this the door? Yep, here's the door that we originally knocked off. It's uh, pretty tattered. But it's a door, I can recognize it. How about a piano? Everyone likes a bit of piano. So let's go ahead and let's open this up. There we go. Back to the aircraft. We're gonna use our left uh, wheel to smash and subsequently destroy the piano here. And uh, here we go. So keep your eyes on that left landing gear. There we go, it made kind of a piano noise when it did. Um, but you know what? Since we're taking off again, we're gonna bring the landing gear up and we're not gonna lower it. We're gonna do a landing gear up, uh, landing, and, uh, we're gonna see what happens. And you know what? For accuracy, let's say we lose hydraulics, um, and we can't lower our flaps, um, we're gonna do a no flap, no gear landing. And the aircraft is shaking really violently. I think when we hit the piano, it might have damaged, um, oh yeah. Look at that. That flap there is just going wild. I think when we hit the piano, that wing flexed a little too much, and it caused damage to that flap. So um, we're going to go ahead, and we are going to attempt another landing. All right, there is the runway. Let's bring our power up a little bit. Oh, my gosh. Something is very wrong with this airplane here. Very wrong. Um, let's see. Yeah, that entire wing is shaking, so here we go. Let's bring the aircraft down nice and easy here. All right, nice and easy. Here we go. All right, there's the propeller sitting. All right. Yeah, so there we go. Nice and easy. Come on. Stop, stop, stop. There we go. A no landing gear landing. Um, and look at that. Almost perfectly intact. Just a little bit of damage there. And this wing is just freaking out here. I'm going to lower the flaps to see if that'll stop it. No, it's not. It's just going wild. All right, so before I end off the video, there's one other thing I want to do, and that is a water landing. Now, doing water landings in this aircraft can be a bit difficult because the game doesn't like when this aircraft collides with water. And it looks like we have a left engine failure. I wonder why that is. Let's not uh, mention the piano. Uh, yeah, we're losing thrust fast. Okay, this is just going to be a crash landing. All right, there goes our landing gear, and we are dead. There we go. Oh my gosh, this piano is, like, surprisingly intact. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work anymore. Nope, it just completely crumbled. There we go, and it looks like we lost the front landing gear, too. 
So, landing gear. Oh, oh no, 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 you... Mm, oh, gosh. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Let's line up with the magnificent piano there. And there we go. It just disintegrates. All right, so now that we've got our aircraft going up here, we're actually going to try to do a water landing at full speed. Pretty sure the aircraft is going to rip itself apart. Um, but we will find out. So... There's our body of water, and we're going to want to bring the aircraft down nice and level here. So here we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. It handled for about a second, but then the game did not like that. Let's try that again. All right, come on, here we go. Oh, there we go. It went a little funky at the end there. I don't know what exactly happened. But uh, we landed the aircraft, but it sank pretty fast. It's also in one piece, which is good. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.